After listening to this story, stay tuned for a preview of another episode of American Memories Continued. As new dreams are born and hopes are lived, so too are American Memories Continued. American Memories Continued, an original audio series, is brought to you with love and commercial free by... The Fingerprint Community Global, moved by greater to believe bigger. Advocatus Ecclesiae Publishing, perfecting the distribution of hope. And by the ongoing monthly support of friends, community members, and sustaining faithful partners like you. Our theme music, Proudly Western, was composed and performed by Jay Mann at www. Dot our music box dot com. We're thankful and humbled that you've chosen to tune in regularly for your favorite episodes of American Memories Continued. Not just stories told, memories lived. Today's episode is entitled, It's Not Just a Game. Let all of your cares go for just a little while. Listen closely. Prepare your heart to be stolen. You now have a front row seat, and this is family time. American Memories Continued begins now. Warm summer vacations away from school. This was a serious event. Battle lines were drawn and people had something to prove. Just like the big times, people had been proud walking and trash talking and the skirmish itself was going to last for a few days. It usually began on a Friday and the best three out of five would be the proof. It was a level up from touch, but however rough the sport played out, no one was intended to actually hit the ground. This was the grab and hold corner lot football game. Players were being scouted and chosen weeks, even months in advance. And you were allowed to bring in contenders from other neighboring streets, providing you could get them. If you were going to compete, you watched the forming of the teams and sized them up. After all, you did want to be on the winning side. Verbal agreements were made and betrayed based on who you thought that you might be playing on the field with or against. And tempers could flare but everything was going to be all right. Lawn chairs and tables were cleaned and hauled out from the basements, while barbecue grills could be seen preparing to smoke up food around the outer edge of the perimeter. It's said that some went as far as to bet on the outcome, but when it comes to that, my lips are sealed. Adults, teens, and children of all ages got involved. And even people who normally didn't mingle set aside their differences or secretly chose to let them play out through deciding to place their hope in opposing teams. Who could you trust until the game actually got started? I've seen people pledge to be on one side, but by the time that the game officially set it off, they were standing on the other. It was psychological warfare, with the prize being nothing more than bragging rights. Serious faces and all, everyone found out 
that it doesn't always matter how big and strong the person is that's in the fight. As the old saying goes, it's the size of the fight that's in the dog. Game day has come, and you would think that this was the Super Bowl. This was not the time to show fear, and the period for backing out was over. Eye to eye and toe to toe, all out in the open. There were no more days for tricks or deceit. This was it. Captains had been picked a long time ago, but this was going to take more than follow the leader. The reason that there was no tackle was so that everyone could go home in one piece, the same way that they came. And if the game was limited to touch, someone would always argue that no one laid a hand on them just so that they could keep the ball in play. Regular everyday people developed fans and a following. Some of us actually played football in school. Whatever advantage you thought that you had, you were going to have to bring your A-game and put your best on the line if you wanted your brag to be heard and acknowledged when all of this was over. Please watch your step. For those who are tuned in, we now return you to your ordinary day. We truly hope that you've enjoyed spending this time with us. Our goal, with your help, is that the American Memories Continued Experience grows to become America's new favorite pastime, serving you and your loved ones wherever they are. What did you want to say, young lady? Go ahead. Make sure to become a fan and a supporting partner and listen to our full episodes. Click the links below and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Medium.com, Instagram, and YouTube. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. Give American Memories Continued to yourself or to someone that you know. Thank you for listening. Thank you to our veterans for all that you've done for us. And truly, we thank you for your ongoing support. Until next time, God bless. God bless you. And now, a preview from another episode of American Memories Continued. Now, it's about little Indians and Rutman Uglies. The passion and excitement that has exploded over these mini bikes make the craving for crate bikes look like child's play. These things are bad, but they're also very expensive. You can't catwalk or pop a willy on these, but we can ride the girls around that we spent. <laughs>